Today we're showing you guys the top 5 businesses you should own in GTA 5 Online to make yourself the most money. So today I'm showing you guys the top 5 businesses I would recommend you buying in GTA 5 Online so you guys can make some good old money. And if you guys have the money for these businesses, okay, just save up and bada boom and bada bing. In the future, I recommend just buying these businesses so you guys can make some good old money. Now, first thing I recommend you guys buying yourself is our MC Club. I think the cheapest one is $200,000. Once you guys get in there, you're going to have yourself a little laptop. Now, you guys can see all these little businesses you guys can have with your MC Club. Now, the cheapest ones here you guys can buy. I recommend doing it if you have no money. But since I had money, I bought this baby right here. It's pretty pricey, but you guys can always buy the cheapest one. And I usually buy all the upgrades, especially the security one. If you guys don't buy the security, your product actually might get stolen or the cops might come by or something like that. So make sure you guys have this security thing. I'm going to show you guys how much you can actually make from this right here. So we're going to sell stock. We get $420,000 here. The missions are pretty damn easy. It's also even better when you have a public session all by yourself to do all these sell missions. So I got $420,000. Not so bad. Not so bad. Next one here is a lab place. Now I recommend buying this baby right here because it makes you some good old money. You guys can get the cheap one, but me, I bought the expensive one because why the heck not? I have the money, so I'm gonna buy it. Make sure you guys buy all the upgrades for these stuff as well. Also security because you don't want yourself getting raided and stuff like that. You just want that to happen. Depending on what kind of sell mission you get, I had a truck and I bought a boom, I bought a bing. It's a very really darn easy mission, especially when I was in solo public session. I got $357,000, not so bad, a little bit less than the last place, but I still recommend getting it. I want you guys to start making some good old money. I recommend buying yourself a nice little nightclub. This one right here is the cheapest nightclub in the whole entire game. You can buy that one if you have no money at all. Or you can just buy the most expensive one. It's up to you. So this one right here you guys can buy if you have no money. And this is stuff here to put in here. I recommend getting the storage things. Put up to five because you guys can get all your businesses around the map. Will eventually just lead to your nightclub. And it'll just make you money when you're not doing anything. Basically passive income. But believe me, I love the nightclub so much. It actually made me so much money. It made me a total over here. Almost six million dollars. We got 5.4 mil I actually made from my nightclub alone that's not even counting the seventy thousand dollars it gives me when i get the publicity so i think i'm in the green so far with the nightclub i actually made all my money back and more so look at this you guys can do all this sell right here once you guys get enough stock you can sell that stuff separately for special offers make sure you guys get all these people here so they can get all your stock in and stuff like this make sure you guys get your publicity up there because you get seventy thousand dollars like every week or something like that and make sure you guys get all the upgrades as well especially the equipment upgrades so you guys want to get all your stock and stuff going like this but once you guys are just chilling i don't know where we can sell the goods we can sell the special offers that will bring you a total price down of your other stocks and stuff like that because it's taking some away that i know where look at this we sold it bada boom or bada beam we got, got 1.5 mil your partner in the nightclub thing i don't know where it gets a little percentage just we got 1.5 mil not not bad at all right there my boys it's actually pretty good money now, I also recommend buying yourself a bunker. If you haven't got one yet, I don't know where about a boom about it. I mean, you guys can get the cheapest one, you get the most expensive one. It's up to you, but for bunkers, for me, it's location. Location for me, like this one right here, is probably the best because if you want to settle Los Santos, you could. Now, personal quarters, make sure to get this because you guys can respawn out of nowhere into your little bunker. You don't really need anything else because it's just, it's just pointless at this point. Out of nowhere, just go to your bunker once you buy this baby. Bada boom, bada bing. We use Gucci. Now, make sure you guys have some money left over. That's why you don't want to buy all those other weird stuff. So, I almost made $6 million with my bunker. So made some good old profit let me tell you that so make sure you guys buy the upgrades as well it's stuff right here very important equipment upgrades all that stuff like that when you guys are doing this here just put everybody to manufacturing research is for like special weapons and stuff like that we don't care about that we're trying to make money unless you want to put people on research but we can sell the stock you guys can actually sell it right here this is when i sold it before but look at this we can resupply you can steal the supplies or buy the supplies but if you buy the supplies it cuts into your profit we don't want to do that so eventually i said you know what i'm going to sell the stuff here i have a full bunker right here if you guys are doing this in a solo public session all by yourself you guys need to get this one mission right here because it's so damn easy you just need a truck this truck here to be two blue trucks out of nowhere if you guys don't get that mission close your game really fast i don't know where you guys eventually will get that mission i did it right there i got one freaking million dollars not so bad now if you guys sell in a populated lobby you guys can get more money and maybe a little percentage more but if you guys don't care about that doing a solo public session like i did and you get some good old money now, next one you guys want to buy yourself is a nice, tremendous little executive tower. Now, sometimes Rockstar Games will give these away for free, like a little promotions. They did it one time. I got mine for free. The cheapest one's a million dollars. You guys don't need any of this stuff here. Like, you don't need to spend money on this accommodation and stuff like that. You just don't need that. Just pointless. Unless you guys want to respawn, but I'm going to buy this one right here. It's my other account. Bada boom, up, bada bing. I recommend getting it because I like doing these little cargo missions because you guys can make a lot of money with this. The reason why I told you guys not to spend a lot of money on accommodation and stuff like that for your nice little towers is because we want to buy ourselves a small little cargo 
cargo thing right here so you guys have a warehouse small is pretty good large is actually the best i bought a large in my other account medium is pretty good but you guys depending on what size you guys have is the most crazy you can put in there and get the most money out of it so if you guys bought yourself a small little cargo place like i did you're not gonna make as much money as possible when you guys buy yourself a big one because the big one can hold up 111 crates the smaller ones i think it's like 40 something i recommend buying whatever you guys can buy but if you have the money i recommend buying the larger ones but they are pretty darn expensive my other account i bought a large one here i'm just gonna grind these out best thing about this stuff here is when it's double money in rp you get a whole bunch of money for this stuff real quick and if you guys made it this far in the video make sure to write in the comments below the letter p and i'll heart every one of those comments because you my boy you was a true mvp and i was sure as hell notice you also it's rare but if you guys get yourself a special cargo that's worth more money than other ones it's rare but you might get it i have made myself over five million dollars doing this i believe that was on a medium warehouse i changed it up to a large one and bada boom bada bang also pro tip right here if you guys had the terabyte you guys can actually park this outside your nice little warehouse do your missions from there and that's how you guys do it so damn easy so once you guys get done with the mission you don't need to go to your executive tower you just go to your terabyte and you do your missions bada boom bada bing now that's some mission now that's some mission right here i done right here i got seven hundred and thirty five thousand dollars that's on a medium warehouse i believe so a larger one you guys will probably get over a mil those right there are the top five business i recommend you guys getting in gta 5 line depending on where you guys are at in the game if you're lower one i recommend buying yourself the executive office and i know we're doing a cargo warehouse stuff like that because that can get you a lot of money but if you guys want to make more money in gta 5 line i recommend watching these videos right here my boy mm, we got some spicy stuff here